I am very thankful that uh, Lazy Cthulhu decided to grant me this opportunity of a collab. Oh yeah, I was I was happy you asked if we wanted to do a collab. I am very excited for this game because it is a puzzle game that we both know nothing about. Go ahead and launch it now. Okay. On my side, it says this is a two player experience, and going solo is not an option, apparently. So it's a good thing that we are playing this together. It should be fun. Options. Turn the volume a little bit lower. On my side, I think the volume Jeez. is okay. Click, drag, spin, and use mouse wheel to explore the world. Uh, Agent Black, thank you for the following. Do you no. want to be player one or player two? I think, generally speaking, player two has it easier, so I will be player two. <laughs> You received a package from someone called Amelia Ron, and your friend got one too. Oh, okay. So we don't like invite each other to the game. We we're just gonna be playing through it this way. That's neat. If I am not mistaken, we both basically have completely different uh, layout of the game. Like for example, for me it's Friday. Uh, 17th, uh, what's this month called again? I am sorry, my English is slipping. March, 17th March, yeah. 2023. <laughs> it's contained an old clock. And it's Friday, March 17th, 2023. Okay, so the date is the same. I was mistaken. How's it going, Sign? Oh, and Songbird, you got you. Awesome, you got, the emotes are finally through. <laughs> you should have a piece of paper that's Dear Player 1, while I have Dear Player 2. Oh yeah, I see it. Do you want me to read mine first? Uh, sure, go ahead. Dear Player 1, this clock is part of a game, a gift I made for my sister, to have a fighting chance, to play with a friend, to tell each other what you read and see. If you find my sister, tell her I miss her. Well, uh, Emily? That is completely different from me. My paper says, Dear Player 2, I sent one clock to you and one to your friend. If you want to play a game, look into the past together. Remember the wind up the clocks. So that's the first difference. Oh, it looks like we keep scrolling down. I have a package oh. from Denmark. 
I got package from Denmark as well with half of a newspaper. I clicked on it. Another disappearance. It's dry and it's ripped ripped off. Uh, I the youngest think, member. I think Sorry, the, title, the title says Guess Our Village. So I'm guessing it's Strikes Our Village. Oh, yeah. The youngest member of the renowned clockmaker family, Lerk, was reported missing yesterday. Oops. Her sister, Emily, told us she had last seen her at 10.30. And that's my, all that it says on mine. On my side, it continues. Understandably distressed, she later corrected her statement and said it must have been an hour and a half later. Contact if you have seen or heard anything unusual. Please contact the police. And it also says the date. It's March 14th, 1937. So the newspaper is quite old. So if she said she was mistaken, it was about an hour and a half later. And she was, she had last seen her at 1030. Does that mean it would be midnight then? Do you also have a pocket watch? I do. What does it say for you? Uh, on the outside, it says Amelie 1915. For me, it says uh, Laerke 1917 to 1937. So that's interesting. I can open the yeah. watch. Oh, yeah, me too. Um, looks like it's. 614 on my clock for me it's 7 and the clock seems to be also broken like it's cracked it is cracked oh i can i can actually turn the dial on mine and he said it was 7 years Let's see if I move it to the 7, if it does anything. So it doesn't I look guess, like anything happened. I guess the first puzzle is to figure out what is the correct time. Oh, maybe I should try midnight then, if the last time she was seen, it was, she said 10.30, but then she was mistaken, it was an hour and a half later. Oh, I... No. <laughs> I've been transported into chapter one. Oh. I put... I put the clock at midnight and clicked the big button on top of the clock. Oh, yeah, that worked for me too. Okay, so we think we solved the first puzzle. That was easy. This is a copy I made of the world that Lyric and I used to know. Is that what the chapter one said? Yeah. My chapter I'm one, at... my chapter one says Larke went missing in 1937, but it started years before. I got sent to the year 1927. Okay, me too. Me too. I see beautiful bird. It is no. nighttime for me. It flew away, but there is a beautiful white crow. I think. Or 
for me it's also midnight. I can spin around. That See are... Raven's clock? Yes. I have that building too. I go this way. Oh, and there's a... A well. Scary looking well. Some house. With lights on. Oh, I clicked on the house. Didn't mean to. Uh, corrupt shark, thank you for the gift, sir. I very much appreciate it. See what happens when I when I click on the front door of the Ravens Clock store. It says opening hours three to nine. Does it say the same thing for you? Yes, my house is also three to nine. The Ravens Clocks. I tried clicking on the well and it took me to a a ladder ladder downstairs. And there is some puzzle at the bottom of the well. Alright, I'm making my way to the bottom of the well now. Okay, I see it. To be completely honest, I have no idea what this means. Um, for my top row, I have white circle, white circle, black circle. Okay, I don't... my second row, I have white square, white triangle, black circle. I can only change three buttons. Is it the middle one on the top row? Yes. Okay, so I have the other buttons then. I have the two on the top and one on the bottom. I'm gonna push the left one. Turn it into a black square. Okay, so there is probably some password that we need to input into this. What was the symbol in your middle on the top row? It is a white circle. Okay, and on the bottom left? A white square. And on the bottom right? A black circle. And then what, what are yours? The uh, top left? Top left is a black triangle. And the top right? Top right is white triangle. And the and bottom middle? It's a white square. Okay. It looks like there's a lever on the right. Oh, it, it opened opens, up. And I've received some sort of a plug. I got a button. Well, I guess Pink. it's a button or plug. Yeah. Okay, we are good. We already solved two puzzles without any issues. <laughs> I think we can... Nothing else in this... No, it doesn't look like there's anything else in the well. I'm going out of the well now. I love the art style of this game. It looks quite nice. I do too. I especially like the bird that is flying around. I don't know if you have it too. I haven't seen a bird. It's a white crow. Very, very nice looking. 
No birds for me. You ready to go into the house? Yeah, let's visit the house. I had gone in there before, and I turned on the light, and tech started to appear. In the house, I see a box with the wind-up crank. I guess I wound up the train and it, it told me the whole whole phrase. Do you have any text on yours? On the train? Uh, if you move like the train wheel, does it like start to pump the, the steam? I don't think I have... I don't think I have on my side the train wheel. Ah. Um, do you have the light bulb? I don't. Oh. Oh, okay. I think I, I think this is how you, you figure out what on your end, what mine says. Lark. I hope you like your present. Turn it anti-clockwise three times. Anti Clockwise. Uh, I'll, okay. Uh, anti-clockwise three times. Okay. Clockwise done. twice. Done. Anti-clockwise twice. Okay. Then keep turning it clockwise. Oh, and do not let go. So we might need to do this again without you letting go of whatever you're holding on to. I think it worked. Some sort of a joker popped out of the box and gave me half of a ticket, I think. And I can, I can kind of punch the Joker, but it doesn't do anything. <laughs> now on the ticket on the floor, it seems like a guidance for what I must do in the next puzzle. But it's only half of the ticket. Oh, okay. So I wonder where the other part of the ticket is for me. It didn't look like I had to solve anything else when I was in there. I think I know exactly what this ticket will do. Where do we need to go? Oh, okay. Did you found something? When I left the house and went to the, the original starting place, where I was, I had a machine at like the train stop that was missing a button. I was able to put the button there. But it's like on a grid, so I think you might need to direct me on the grid. Yeah, I know the first half of this puzzle, but I don't know where the other half of the puzzle is. Because the ticket only shows how the first four rows work, and I don't know the rest. Maybe something will happen if we do in first half. First half. Let's try it out. You have to press up twice. Up then twice? You, 
then you have to uh, use the right button four times. One, two, three, four. And then down twice. One, two. So basically half of a square. It doesn't look like anything happened. There has to be some place somewhere with the other part of the ticket. I would guess it's probably in the Raven's Clock building, but I don't know how to open it. Um, I think we went back in time when I we went, when I was going counterclockwise, like looking through the buildings. I think maybe if we. If we turn our cameras clockwise, we go forward in time? Jeez. Or back in time? What, what does the store need to be? Three to nine. Okay, what's your current time? Right now it is 11 o'clock for me. What time is it for you? Uh, 11. Also, thank you for the follow Aname with her letter. It's a difficult, difficult nickname to pronounce. Now, Jeez. now it's midnight. So it did work when you turned all the way around. Yeah, it's oh, it did, yeah. working. You okay. can spin around indefinitely, apparently. I will spin until I hit three hours. Me too. Okay, now it's three. And the Raven's clock is entered. Also, thank you for the follow Atlas tonight. Okay, I am inside of the building and I see old timey radio, I think. Me too. And I also see stairs, oh. but... When I turned on the radio, the num there was a bunch of letters that showed up. You Kinda can squiggly. Oh. You can move your screen upstairs. There is a bunch of clocks. And a whole new room at the top that you can also see. Huh. Looks like so all this... the clocks are at the same time for me. Uh, not for me. One of the clocks is... Actually, yeah, they are at the same time. I got bamboozled by the... By the hands. Okay. <laughs> Do you have a newspaper on the wall? At the ups upstairs? Oh, I do. For me, it says News Wednesday Edition. Maybe I can't pick that up. I have like, there's like a roll on the floor that I can't pick up. Okay, I will I will I will read out this newspaper. It says in a Raven's clock shop you can buy all kinds of clockwork, request commissions and get your old clock repaired. Today grand opening of clock shop. The world renowned clockmaker Mr Round has opened a new clock shop in our town. He is said to be an interesting character with level of detail quite exquisite. Our own queen is said to have a couple of his elegant pieces. Today he is opening his and that's where the newspaper ends. So I assume the rest of the newspaper is probably somewhere on your side. Or maybe it's lost forever. I 
I also see there's a radio when I move it it when I change like the frequencies it it starts saying stuff I'm trying to figure out if I can find the last bit of what yours you said oh my radio actually does it too okay But I am so guessing. First... I am guessing we will probably both have completely different sails. Also, do you have white feathers in the building? White feathers? Yes. No, like as the wallpaper. Uh, on the floor there are two feathers. I can click on them, but they don't do anything. I don't see any feathers for me. Yeah. What do the clocks say on yours? My clocks say it's almost 4 p.m. or a.m. 4 p.m. Okay. For me, it, they show that it's about like 440, 445. I mean 340, 345. Yeah, so it's like in between those two. Are your clocks also constantly ticking and moving backwards one minute and then back forward? Yes. Okay, so we are both haunted. That's good. Okay, let's try, let's try the radio. With yours, does it start with the, the dot dot dots? Uh, my radio starts with three dots, yes. Okay, so then... For the very first one that I see, it says... Last month, the police started getting several reports of pets going dot 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 oh on my side it says missing mostly old cats and dogs let's hope they are all found soon so that makes okay. sense going the to next... where the next one in okay the next one also starts with three dots on my end okay the oldest raven daughter Amelie is a brilliant clockmaker and an inventor. Her footsteps, dot dot dot, uh, are usually followed by the ticking and scuttling of one of her creations. Huh. Okay, the next line, once again with three dots, starts. Okay. The Raven family moved here a month ago and have worked day and night, dot dot dot. To be able to open their clock shop today, the 18th. The 18th? The 18th. I think that will be an important number. Yeah. Okay, the next... I am once again starting with three dots. Okay. Another pet has been stolen during the night. This time it was Miss Jensen's dot dot dot. Sweet old farm dog. Remember to lock your doors until his, his thief has been caught. Also, sorry for my broken English. I'm still learning to speak fluently. Oh no, it's fine. I can understand you. Hopefully, it's understandable for everyone. Okay, the next... Next, once again, starts with three dots on my end. Okay. A strange occurrence has shook our village. Drove... Droves of lifeless dot dot dot. Uh, birds have been found scattered across the forest floor. Okay, huh. so the... Birds are dying. 
And somebody stealing at the dogs and cats. And there was something on the 18th. Yeah. Okay, I think there is one more. It looks like it. Yeah, one more. Okay. Uh, no more walking for five miles to get your letters. It's now March and the dot dot dot. Construction of our very own post office will start at the end of the month. Okay, so March at, post office. At the very very end of the radio it's also one more dialogue. Oh yeah. An unusual white raven seems attached to the youngest member of the dot dot dot. Uh Roan family? Let's hope for her sake that it will not go missing like those other pets. I think this this animal is the one that I keep seeing. Oh yeah. Huh. Which probably right. makes me the youngest member of the family. Interesting. And I'm gonna scroll back up. Oh, so I have a calendar at the top when I scroll all the way up. Do you have one? Uh, I had the newspaper. I didn't have okay. anything now. So, March... 18th? No? Is the is the calendar like interactable? Yeah, I'm able to change the month and the the day like Friday, Monday and stuff. I can't change the the actual number. It's nineteen twenty seven. What did it say on the newspaper? The date? Uh, the date of the newspaper was... It doesn't say... It says it's Wednesday. Okay, so maybe March on a Wednesday? That could be Oops. it. Maybe I click on... Nope, oh, still can't do anything with that. The newspaper says Wednesday and the radio said 18. Otherwise, I don't see any other clues. Oh, okay. I am. I was able to drag the, the date. Oh. I got the rest of the map. Okay, so you got the ticket. Yeah. I, am I not able to take it with me? You have to memorize it. It wasn't allowing me to take it either. Okay. So, let me look at this. Right one. Up three. Right two up one and right one. Okay. And you needed to put that in in also, right? So you you'll need to know the, the first I just inputted first it in and it worked. Okay. It made a noise. Let me put it in.
Okay, there we go. I keep hearing the bird is flying all over this place. I wonder oh, why he isn't on your side. I think I might be the older sister. Did you does a did a train show up in the top of the area for you after you solved the the oh, puzzle? Oh yeah, oh yeah. I just noticed it. Okay, I clicked and on I, it. Okay. And it took Looking me to it the now too. To... Mine says chapter two. It was getting harder to find animals for my experiment, but I still knew I could get easy. I knew one I could get easy access to. For me, it says I told Lark I was making her a clock, but she wasn't interested. She was too busy playing with her stupid bird. Huh. So I wonder if my person is making all these animals disappear with these animal experiments. And the timeline has changed to 1932. I'm also in 1932. For me, it's currently midnight and it's raining. Me too. And it says the closed track. Yeah, out of and, service. And it's crossed out as well. Yeah. Seems like we will need to find new ticket guidance for the next train, I think. Oh, the house is different for me. You mean inside? Yeah, I clicked on the house and it inside is different for me. Oh, it's converted into a hotel, I think. When I click on the door, it doesn't want to let me in. I was able to go in. Do you also have multiple bells in the, in the house? No, for me it looks like uh, it looks like a, a bedroom with a fireplace. And when I was able to open up the door, it let me start to go downstairs. Looks like I'm in the basement. Do you hear any bell-related melody, perhaps? Not yet. I oh, might I, have the I found the a code. paper. Paper says, okay. I left you something downstairs. It will be my greatest invention yet. Play our secret melody and I'll open the door. And it's from Amelie. So I need to input some secret melody. Um, how many bells are there? I see are there six. Five? There's I six? see okay. six, and under each bell it's written a room. The first bell is the kitchen, the second bell is the front door, the third bell is the study, the fourth bell is music room, the fifth one is office, and the sixth one is dining hall. Okay, so when I went into the basement, I clicked a bunch of stuff and I have some text that I think has the code in it. So I've been working on this iteration for one year now in the study. I'd like you to keep it safe for me, Locke. Look after it really well, like you did with the two kittens you found in the pantry. 
in five years, when I've gained more knowledge, I'll come back and complete it. I'll be sitting by the dining table waiting for you. Okay, I think that's the that's the that's the password. We just need to we just need to input it. So the first one was the study. Which which one is that? Which bell? That's the third bell, I think. So I will press it. How did the story continue? And then it said, uh, look after it really well, like you did with the two kittens you found in the pantry. I guess that could be the kitchen. Yeah. Which one is the kitchen? That's the first bell. And then in five years, when I've gained more knowledge, I'll come back and complete it. I'll be sitting by the dinner table waiting for you. And maybe in the dining room then? Probably in the dining room. That's the sixth bell. Nothing happened. So I think the one year, the two kittens in five years matter. So try one, three, two, one, five, six. Oh, I messed up, I think. Can you repeat? Yeah. One, three, two, one, five, six. Ah, uh, that didn't seem to work. Uh. Maybe it's a combination of the written words as well as the numbers. Oh, uh, yeah, maybe it's... Well, then the, the last ones would be... Five and six, well, that wouldn't be a, a number. The Y1 and 3. Uh, on on Biscuit's side, he has bells that are linked to certain rooms. So I was trying to figure out if those were linked to it. Like the study, the pantry, and the dining table, the dinner table. Anything else I can push? Do you have any, like, tiny piece of paper anywhere in the room? Because I had one hidden really well underneath a plan from Emily. About to play our secret melody and I'll open the door. Maybe you have something similar somewhere in the room? Um, I'm moving some jars around to see... Doesn't look like it. What were the name of the rooms again? Uh, kitchen, front door, study, music room, office, and dining hall. Huh. One year in the study, study is three, two kittens in the pantry, and you said the kitchen is one. Yes. And then in five years, when I've gained more knowledge, I'll come back and complete it. I'll be sitting by the dining table waiting for you. 
uh, gained more knowledge could also relate to the study. Oh yeah. Maybe. If we could go back to three. So then maybe. Steam. Oh. Steam monkey. Steam. Steam. Yeah, that's a good idea. That could be it. so. So one. So ring the three bell wands. So study one. The kitchen. Twice. Okay. And the dining table. The dining room five times. Oh my god, it opened the door. <laughs> Thank you, Steam. <laughs> uh, okay, now I can go downstairs. I see cobwebs, I see Mario pipes. And I see some weird barrel being tied to a rope from the ceiling. Oh, I can punch the barrel and it slightly changes. Oh, it cracks. Okay, I think I just keep punching it until it opens. There we go. I got... I broke it. And I received the clock from the beginning of the game. The one that was correct. Oh, okay. The clock seems to be enchanted and it gives me a password code. It says... 12, 3, 12... 12, 12, 3, 6. And it keeps repeating this pattern all over and over again. So, do you have any place anywhere where there would be a password required? No, it doesn't look like I have one in this house. It might be for the next one. But what was the the password again that I was bringing out? Uh, 12. 12. 3. 3. 12, 12. 12, 12. 3. 3. And 6. 6. Right, those also might be directions for the, the train it's like 12 being up and 3 being right oh there's a different store here now when i go to the right i just I noticed the house. i just noticed when it does the 12 12 Twice in a row, it kind of looks like a, like it might be doing it three times. Okay. So, if the password is incorrect, just add another 12 into it, and it should hopefully be the correct password. Oh, I can move the items in the basement. Slightly. I was able to shift them around too, but nothing really happened. Okay, I don't see anything else in here. I guess that will do it for the building. You also got the post office. I think this is the post office. 
I don't know what this is. It's got a trumpet logo. Yeah. When I clicked on it, there's like weird, weird things. I see a red uh, thing, and that is written pro post brev case. I'm not sure what this language is. I guess it's like post briefcase or something. But Polish or Russian. And I don't see anything else in here that I could interact with. There is a bunch of clickable stuff, but nothing I can pick up. For me, there's like... It looks like there may be safes or something. I think I need to find a letter or something that I can throw in the... briefcase and that will probably do something. Oh, the post replaced the well. The well is no longer here. Do we want to check out the raven's clock and see if that does anything? Yeah, let's spin around until it's 3 a.m. again. Okay, I am in. And I see, I oh, see the, two the keys. bird is here. Oh, you got the bird finally? Nice. Yeah. Okay, I have a letter with a key inside of it, inside of my inventory, as well as a different key outside of the envelope that is also inside my inventory. So basically two keys. But one of them is gift wrapped for some reason. And for me, all that's... I'm not able to grab anything. There is a painting on the wall where it showcases uh, I think the back of a lady with the white burp on her shoulder. There's a a framed message on the on the wall it says apprenticeship dear Amelie I am pleased to inform you that you have been chosen as my new apprentice. Your experiments well, with time extractions are truly groundbreaking. I agree that our short lifespan is deeply unfair, especially for people like us who keep improving the world, pushing it forward. I am looking forward to helping you with your experiment in Switzerland. Yours sincerely, Clarissa Shar, Master Watchmaker. So the language is Swedish. Okay. Well, there's a note on the desk that says, do not remove these tools. I will work when the clock shop is closed. Do you have any tools in there? No, I don't see any in here. I mean, there's a pair of tweezers, but I can't pick them up. I will go and try throwing the envelope into the into the post office. It worked and I received back a note which says 28 northwest west southwest east.
does it say anything else on it? Like a a number? I've got because there's like a bunch of different boxes. Um, there's 14, none... 16, 18, 24, 26, 28, 28. 34. Oh, okay, 28. It'll be 28. And he said which, northwest. Uh, north northwest. Then west. West. Then southwest. And southwest. And then the last one is east. East. Not. I think I might have grabbed the wrong ones. Because there, there's like a little cardinal direction things. Oh, that doesn't help. Northwest. Oh, west. Northwest, west, southwest. Southwest east. and east. Okay, there we go. I opened it up and I have a, a letter. For Amelie Ra Raven. That's got a key in it. Yeah. Here's your key to the clock shop, Emily. When you're done working, could you help me look for my raven? Oh, does that mean we can go to the shop at night oh, now? I We've got it. keys. I get it. I sent the envelope to you, and you inputted in the password, therefore it was delivered. Oh. That's actually kind of smart. Now we and both then, have a key. Yeah, so we've got to go back when the shop is closed now. So we just spin around... ...until it's 2 a.m. Oh, yep, I was able to get in, and now there's a, a clock I'm working on. Okay, I am in, and I see two new things. One of them is a book called Gemstones and the other one is also a book but this one is about horology. Okay, so I'm able to move a lot on these on this watch. There are four marbles in here so maybe there's something with gems. Okay, the book of minerals showcases six uh, different minerals. The first one is green, then there is sort of like a see-through one. Then okay. there is red, then there is Dalmantian stone. Then there is black one and tiger's eye, which is the brown one. And each of the stones has a description. The green one, for example, says the malachite is a copper mineral known for its green color and can be used to create durable pigments. Then the see-through stone says quartz is commonly used in the making of blocks due to its ability to channel energy. The red one stone is the rubby. It's a hard and durable gemstone that can ease friction in mechanical instruments. The Dalmantian stone conducts energy. It is less powerful than quartz, but doesn't wear down as fast. The black stone is an onyx. can be used as a type of insulator to slow down small electric currents. And the brown one is a tiger's eye that can be used as a conductor due to its layering of quartz crystals. crystals. It's a lot of text. So I have a green, red, white, and brown one. Okay, so you got the green is malachite, white is quartz, red is ruby, and the brown one is the tiger eye. 
Oh, I see. And in the other book that is on my table, it says... Uh, horology, new methods of measuring time. Through multiple studies, we figured out that a timepiece would be more precise when using only quartz in the channeling plane. I think this sequence will be more accurate with the additional benefit of storing time. The tiger's eye should be to the left of the quartz. So the brown one should be left to the white one. Then it says the malachite cannot be to the far sides or directly next to the ruby. So okay. the malachite should be probably somewhere in the middle. And the ruby must not be directly next to the tiger's eye. Oh, not directly to the tiger's eye. So I think this whole paragraph is the guide. Then there is also another chapter which has balance. For highest precision, point the balance needle towards the third quartz. Point it instead towards the malachite stores time better. When everything is set for optimal accuracy, wind the, top, wind the clock up by turning the top right gear clockwise. Once the lid has closed, Test the experiment by setting the clock to 12. This should initiate the extraction process. I think I have the clock set to 12. Point it instead towards the Malachite. Yeah, point it instead towards the malachite stores stores time better apparently. And then turn the the right dials clockwise. This the bird seems... keeps poking the clock too. <laughs> this seems like it will be bit more complicated than the other puzzles. Okay. So the I will repeat the main paragraph, which was that the tiger's eye should be to the left of the quartz. Okay. And the malachite cannot be to the far sides or directly next to the ruby. And the ruby must not be directly next to the tiger's eye. Okay. That was the oh, main thank guide. Thank you so much for the raid. That was the main guide. So, I feel like I have the the gems set up correctly, I think. Unless there's one supposed to be in the bottom. So I have them all all along the top. There's like, a, like three triangles put together. I think I have what you described in the book charted out. But I see it black and white without the stones in it. Okay, so we need cool ranch jalapeno and spicy nacho. Those sound good. Well, the the tiger's eye. 
should be to the left of the quartz. So we know for sure that the white will always be to the left of the brown. Oh, okay, I think I have that op. I had that opposite. That's the first part. Then the second part references the green one. The green one cannot be to the far sides or directly next to the red one. Okay. So it needs to be in one of the, the two center pieces, but not by the red. And the red must not be directly to the brown. So red must be somewhere far away from the brown. And green and red can't be by each other? Uh, green cannot be next to the red. The it's red like, can't be next to the brown. Seems like these stones are very picky in their uh, partnerships. Right. And the quartz is always to the left of the brown. Yeah. Brown should be left of the white. A brown should be left of the white. Okay. The green should be somewhere in the middle. Jeez. Because the green one cannot be to the far sides or directly next to the red. And the red one cannot be next to the brown. But the red one can be put in the far sides, I suppose, somewhere. Then what did I do to, to wind it up? Oh, the winding up was when everything is set for oh. optimal accuracy when the clock up by turning the top right gear clockwise twice. I think, I think I got it. The, the clock closed. That said to set it to midnight. Well, to, yeah. Okay. Okay. We, I did it. <laughs> and the the bird just got sucked into the clock. The bird got sucked into the clock. Yeah. I don't see the bird. Okay, now it's now the now it's giving me directions. Uh three 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 six three six six three one two three all right three threes one six one three one six two. Okay, I think I think I have it. Oh, right, thank, so you, thank you for the follow, Mary Ocalypse. I appreciate it. Uh, okay. So we basically solved the Ravens clocks. We solved the post office, and I think we also basically solved the inside of the house. And then with the, the clocks, I think they gave us directions again. Also, just hope that... half of the directions were in the house on my side. Yeah, and I think I had the other half when I finished the, the clock. 
I don't exactly remember. I think. Oh yeah, it's twelve three, twelve twelve, or maybe twelve 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 three six. I'm not sure if in the middle section it's doing the twelve twice or three times. Okay. So twelve. 3, 12, 12, 3, 6, and then mine was 3, 3, 3, 6, 3, 6, 6. No, that, that doesn't work then. Alright, so then there is the extra, the extra 12 then. Okay. So then it's up, right, up, 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 right, down, then mine goes right, 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 down, right, down, down, right. All right, it worked for me. Oh you my able to get God. it? <laughs> it worked. Another yeah. play. We are really good at this puzzle game. I have a feeling I'd need a notepad, so, <laughs> so I've been writing down numbers and stuff on the on a piece of paper. You know, I am actually surprised. I thought we would be getting stuck everywhere, but we are doing doing yeah. dealing with it quite nicely. Yeah. So chapter three. I knew Lurk wouldn't want to harm the people who went into the clock, so I decided to give them our way out. Mine says, Chapter 3. It was easier than I thought to extract time from animals. Now I had to learn how to do the same with people. Oh. You have like a bad guy, good guy kind of thing going? And I have moved to 1937, which is, I think, the year from the beginning of the game where the folks missing appear in the newspaper. Okay. Oh, I don't like know. Bigger building. I don't know what you see, but I see six light bulbs, and by clicking on them, you can light them up. Oh, yeah, I see them also. And I think they are tied to the gate. So we need to figure out the oh. light combination, I suppose. Looks like we can turn... Oh, looks like we can turn on... If you uh, look around the... There's more lights. Oh my god, the light bulbs are everywhere. So I'm just clicking on them all, on, on all of them right now. There is six on each screen. So oh, 24 yeah. in total. That will be a long password. It looks like I was just able to light them all up at once. Also seems like each of the light bulbs does slightly different noise when you light it up. Let's go into the into the house. Okay, I see a very very old looking phone with numbers five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have one, two, three, four, and zero. Okay, so I have the half of the clock and you got the other half. Mm, I don't think we can do anything here. Oh, I, I clicked on the the number, number one, and it said, uh, was pouring down and made me scared. 
Oh my god. Okay, when I click 5, it says angry but don't hang up on me yet. I really want you to. I clicked on 2, said hey Lark, I'm so glad you finally... Uh, maybe we've got to figure out what the whole conversation is. Okay, the plus button says to visit. There is no now a dark tower. The six says mad at me when I arrive. Eight says it's upstairs and it's even better. This one cannot die. And seven says decided to pick up the phone. I've been leaving. And I think the one button I didn't check yet. Uh, nine, you company, yo, you company, I would have told you. And there is also this button that I'm not sure what's the name of it. It's kind of like the wave symbol. And it says, there you oh, know, yeah, know your... what you mean. Oh, uh, what? I know, I know what you mean. The, like, the little squiggle thing. Yeah, 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 the... the, the... The little, little wave. It says there you know your raven that went missing, the one. So basically every single button is only a piece of a sentence. It doesn't... It also seems like it's not the start of them. Well, I've got one that has a start of a sentence. I double checked and none of my have a start to them. All of mine start mid sentence. However, I do have one that ends with a dot. So I have the end of the sentence, which is number six. Something tells me we have to go back to this place. We might need to find some paper with uh, combination. Yeah. Let's go to the post office, maybe. Uh... Oh no, this looks complicated. I have three saves, each with four directional arrows and each with a number. The first one is 44, the second one is 46 and the third one is 48. I think those are the ones that I saw before. Oh, never but mind. I I can scroll upstairs and there is a whole bunch of other saves as well. So I will be doing the puzzle that you did before, basically. Probably. I also For see me, it has like a Morse code thing. I also see a paper and the paper says, I am so excited to restore the clock shop with you, Lar. Soon we are going to be a proper family again. Meet me in the basement of the shop. The basement of the shop? Okay, I'm gonna go check the basement of the shop then and see. Okay, I will go look elsewhere. Oh. I don't know what this is. I don't... I cannot go... Oh, never mind. I can go into the shop. But the entire upper floor is dark. And mine oh. was too. Only the basement is slid up, and there is some weird puzzle with weird buttons. Okay, let me turn. Did you push the on button? I pushed the on button. 
it's on a timer and then it disabled itself. I think it wants me to impart some sort of a code into it. When I click on it, it shows the bird and then it doesn't show me a thing after that. We've got a guess. Okay, so the first button I will push is the bird. I think. Nay. Okay, so the first button is bird, the second button is snake, and you have to okay. figure out the third. Bird, snake, nine. butterfly. Okay, I will. Bird, snake, butterfly, number five. Oh, so it'd be the. The middle one, the, the lock. So, bird, snake, butterfly, lock. Bird, snake, butterfly, lock. Snake plus one. Hourglass. Okay, so... Bird, snake, butterfly, lock, hourglass, eight to the right. Eight with uh, arrow to the right. I'm not sure. Eight, arrow right. For me, yeah. that would be the cock. Mechanical cock. Okay. So, bird, snake, butterfly, hourglass. Wait, no, not hourglass. Uh, key, keyhole. Then hourglass. And then you said it would be the cog next. Yes. Is what you saw. Okay. So, bird, snake. Butterfly, hog, uh, to the left of eight, ladder, all right, so cog, then ladder. Okay, so, bird, snake, butterfly, lock, hourglass, hourglass, then cog, then ladder. Puppet. Is it the little doll thing? Okay. Alright. I wonder how long this thing is. <laughs> Bird, snake, butterfly, uh, uh, uh. bug, moth again, the butterfly again. So then. all into butterfly again. Seven. Uh, butterfly. Seven, um... Wait, your snake again? Alright, snake. Oh man, we've got to do the whole... <laughs> that whole thing. <laughs> all I should right. probably... I should probably stop what I think is done, because I am... Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, oh yeah. Let me know when you you're ready, and I can tell you what we have so far. So the first one is bird, snake, bird, snake, butterfly, lock, lock, hourglass, cog, ladder, doll, butterfly. Snake. 
And then it's whatever I have next. Okay. This this is difficult, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Bird, snake, butterfly, this, this, hard glass, cog, ladder, doll, butterfly, snake, howl, wolf. Okay. Snake then wolf. <laughs> wolf? Okay. Yeah. Let me write it how. So, bird, snake, butterfly, lock, hourglass, cock, cock, yeah, ladder, doll, Do butterfly again, snake, wolf, and then yeah. it says feather, so the bird is next. Okay. And alright. I still got a way to go too. <laughs> bird, snake, butterfly, lock, hourglass, cog, ladder, doll, butterfly. Snake, wolf, bird, slither, snake again. Okay. Now it says to arrow down. So the lock again. I think. Yeah, that would that would make sense directly down from two. Okay. <laughs> Bird, snake, lock. Cog. Cog is the newest one. Okay, let me bird, snake, butterfly, lock, hourglass, cock, ladder, door, butterfly again, snake, wolf, bird, lock. It broke. That's weird. Hmm. I think I messed up somewhere. Bird, snake, butterfly, lock, hourglass, the cock, the ladder, the doll, the butterfly, snake, wolf. Bird, lock. Mm, for some reason, in oh, it goes bird then snake. Not uh, the snake is in between. Oh, it I see. It goes wolf, bird, snake, lock, cog, and then. I forgot to write down the snake. Okay, that's the issue. So the bird. Snake, butterfly, lock, hourglass, cock, uh, ladder, doll, butterfly, snake, hook, bird, snake, lock, cock, 
again with yeah. the snake. Yeah, another snake, okay. Alrighty. <laughs> Bird, snake, butterfly, block, hourglass, hog, ladder, doll, butterfly, snake, wolf, bird, snake, lock, hog, snake, bird. <laughs> Again with the bird. Yeah. But at least the next one is the last one. And then we have them all. <laughs> the last button is escape. Would that be the lock? Could be also the ladder, I'm not sure. I will try the ladder. That was incorrect. Okay. I wonder if it's the lock then? Yep, the lock was correct. And my directions are south and southeast. My directions are northeast and northeast. If I am reading this correctly, I got the two red marks in northeast. Oh no. Well, I've already got the directions. I don't need to look at it again. I was just trying to leave the area. <laughs> oh, the lights are on upstairs now. Oh yeah, the radio is back. One sec, yeah. I need to go pee. Yeah. That was for sure a tedious puzzle. And I am glad we managed to make it work. If I am not mistaken, I think the directions from the puzzle box will be probably used on the safes in the post office. And I know for sure that at least two of the directions will be northeast. I think the correct number of the safe will be somewhere I am back. 
welcome back. Thank you. What was the directions you got from the from the puzzle that we did? I got south and southeast. South and south east. <laughs> no, Steam, that's not true. <laughs> it can't be. So, south and south east, you say. Oh, I see. In post box 34. 34? Yeah, I'm going through the radio and I was looking at the, like, what there was. It's only, like, the last bits, but there's one that says, to be used again, there's already a letter in post box 34. Well, it's been opened. And it's the... The content is the post office telegram. It feels like I was gone for such a long time, but for all the time I was away, it still felt short, too short. To finish my invention, now we will have the longest lives ever. Longer than you could imagine when you've repeated this message, I'll guide your way. So, that doesn't tell us much. Huh, so, what have we got to use the phones for then? I think this entire message... ...maybe contains the sentences from the... ...from the phone. And if we sort the messages in the numbers, we will be able to make the phone call, maybe? Because I think I remember seeing I'll guide your way in the phone. Let me go double check, but I think that was one of the sentences. Ah, uh, no, never mind. It was a different sentence. Okay. I'm confused. Right, I'm trying to figure out what, what we've got to do. Okay, now in the radio, I am now the one who has to start the sentences, I think. Yeah, we'll see if... I'm sure that'll help us out. Okay, the first All one right. is three patients from the nursing home in Hylby. have vanished in the middle of the night. So, three patients in the middle of the night, maybe 12, just checking. <laughs> I'm just putting these numbers down. Okay, the next sentence is... The talented Amelia Raven has returned from Switzerland she is determined to reopen and bring back glory to Raven's Clock. I don't know if that one's too important. Hmm. The next one is the police are looking for anyone who was in the vicinity of the nursing home yesterday evening. They are asking for assistance finding the missing patients. Okay. Then the next sentence is the post office's water damage is repaired and all post boxes are ready. To be used again, there is already a letter in post box 34. Okay, that's the one we got. 
Yeah. And there is the tragic nursing home incident has reopened old wounds in our village. We hope these disappearances won't remain unsolved like those five years ago. Okay, the next one is we have no news when train service will return to our village again. The station is now permanently closed. There's well, a little bit at the end. Okay, the last sentence. Clarissa Shan. The generous benefactor of our new clock tower died last month at the opening ceremony. Next week, we will honor her memory. Hmm. The plot thickens, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I, want... I don't know what kind of info that is. We need a light bulb password of some kind. And we need to figure out... Wait, what did it say in that uh, telegram, by the way? Because I have like a Morse code that. thing. Maybe, maybe there's like dots or something we can use. The telegram says, it feels like I was gone for such a long time, but for all the time I was away, it still felt short. Too short to finish my invention, now we will have the longest lives ever, longer than you could imagine. When you've repeated this message, I'll guide your way. Okay, so, long time short too short oh i see um what were the other ones okay long short short longest longer and that's it okay let's see if i got this so hold it down dot dot Hold down, hold down. Oh, and then when he repeated it, so I'll do it again. It worked. What did you get? I think it's telling me, it's giving me Morse code back, and I'm going to try it. Oh, I'll play it again. I wonder if this is telling us the... Yeah, let me try that again. Dot long. Dot. 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 Long. 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 It could be the light bulbs. Short, long. Short. There is... How many light bulbs? One, two, three, four, 24, five, six, I seven, think. eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twenty-four light bulbs. I wonder. Mm, 
Okay, so there's 12 on each side. So maybe it's middle. The lit up, the lit up ones are the long. I'm confused. Maybe we gotta match them. It would be merit, I think. Or maybe it's dealing with the phone. No. One, two, three, four, five. It gave us 12, so that doesn't make sense. What is this dang phone used for? <laughs> well, the phone has to have some meaning as well. But I don't see mentions of long or short in my phone sentences. Alright. So it isn't related to the Morse code. There could be some combination we need to input, but I'm not sure where we find the combination. Right. And since short, we both have long. different, different short, buttons. Short, 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 space, short, okay, maybe, maybe these gaps make a difference? I don't know. Well, we know for sure that we completely finished up the Ravensplots building. That's a good point. And we know for sure that I finished the post office by opening the safe. So the only Did real hidden yeah. it spells lamb according to Steam uh -huh. Monkey. So I think it has to be related to the light bulbs. We just need to figure out how to input the entire the entire thing into the 24 slots. Is there a lamp inside this building? 
Let me go check, but I don't think I've seen a lamp anywhere. The first building doesn't have one. The second one only has the safes and nothing else. And the third one... Which is the Raven's Clock. Oh... There is like a lamp in the basement, but I cannot do anything with it. Yeah, I tried doing that too. I think we need to somehow translate the Morse code into the Light books password. Oh, it does seem a bit complicated. And I don't see any guidance anywhere, like piece of paper or something. Which yeah, makes, me, seen anything either. makes me think we are probably missing something somewhere. Well, the telegram was a long, short, short. Longest longer. Yeah, I think Steam Monkey has a point. Maybe we could try figure out the phone conversation somehow. So what's the number one for you? When I press one it says was pouring down and made me scared. Okay, let me try to find something that would connect to it. I don't think I have anything that would co connect to the pouring down. Yeah, I feel like the only one that like starts a an actual sentence is when I push two. It says, "Hey, Lark, I'm so glad you finally." And then that stops there. Okay, so glad you finally. Decided to pick up the phone. I've been leaving. So that was that was two. Okay. Was that number two? Yeah, that was number two. 
Okay, for me it continues with number seven. So two seven. I've been leaving. You so many messages. Wait, I know you're still. It was which number? Uh, that was the star, so it'd be the plus for you, I think. Whoops, I accidentally sent the message. So that's the star. To visit, there is now eight? a dark town. Maybe it's upstairs mm -hmm. and it's even better, this one cannot die. What was the end of the sentence again? I forgot. Uh, you so many messages. Wait, I know you are still... Maybe angry. Number five starts with angry. But don't hang up on me yet. I really want you to. That could work, I think. That could connect. Oh, I think, think I had to figure it out. So, uh, really want you to know that before I left, I made you something to keep. And maybe it's the squiggle. Like we, I start at the. So I went two seven. Then the star. Then the five. Yeah. Oh wait, then the five, huh? What was after the five? The five was the you so many messages. It was the star, right? Or no? Know that before I left, that'd be four then. Know that before I left, I made you something to keep. Okay, to keep. Your company? I think that's the one that connects, which is number nine for me. You company, okay. I would have told you. And then it continues. Um, I would have told you. Would have told you. Three earlier, but you dot dot dot. Never mind. Are you still? Are you still there? I think that would connect. Let me just double check if there is anything else you know, that would connect. Are you still... Yeah, I think that will be... The weird wave button, the, the the wave button. I don't know what's the name of it. I think it's the tilde. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the one. I keep forgetting the name of it. And it says there question mark. You know your Raven that went missing. The one. One, you named Cole, zero. Uh, zero, you named Cole. I made a new one for you, comma. Okay. So what's the end, the last two? Uh, I made a new one for you comma so it might be the start of something to like a different conversation okay, i made a new one for you
five. Maybe think eight. It will be eight, probably. The other ones don't connect, so I think it will be eight. Which is, it's upstairs, and it's even better. This one cannot die, and it's the end of the sentence completely. Huh? So, in total, we have five and five. Because there is in total 10 buttons that we combined. Yeah. So now if we input the 5. Well, mine it was 2 star 4 three, zero. Which one was yours? Mine was 7 5 9 the weird wave symbol and eight. Okay, I pressed, I inputted the numbers, I pressed the. I don't know what's oh, the, and name the phone of rang. This thing. Yeah. Yeah, and ladder came ladder. down. Okay. Now I am upstairs with a heavy metal door in a cage. Oh. Mine is showing the blueprints for the bird. Oh. I got the heavy metal bird already assembled, but it's... It's sleeping, and there is a slide of three buttons where I must input some three letters. And it goes through the entire alphabet. Oh wait, that was the name of the bird. Um, let me go back down. Uh, Cole. K K O L. Cole. That might be the name of the bird. Okay. Um. Uh, this is so slow to rotate. Oh. <laughs> I don't see... Am I blind? Yeah. Oh, the <laughs> M MJ Dorlak, thank you for the follow. I very much appreciate it. I don't think... I have the K in here. It should be in there. There it is, okay. I probably went past it multiple times. <laughs> the, he the heavy metal bird is now away. And... Okay, that's really cool, but kind of confusing. I think he speaks Morse code by lighting up his eye. So I think this is the other half of the light bulb password that we need. Oh, that uh, might be the, the right side, like the player two side. Okay, what was the first side that we figured out? So I did for the, when it doesn't light up, it was the short. When it lit up, it was the long. Okay. I will write this down. Give me a second. Short. Long. Wait. 
Why did it? Why did it stop? Short, long. Short, long. Long, long. Okay. Short, short, long. Long. Which doesn't really... Long again, short. I think that's it. That's 2, 4, 6, 8, then 12. Is there okay. supposed to be 12? Yeah, that's how many I got for the other one. So what was it? Okay. It's short, long, short, short, long, short, long, 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 short, 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 short. Long, 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 and the last one is short. That's one is short. All right. So I think I'll put that on the the right side, maybe for like the player two. I'll change the the right side then. Okay, so nope. We have two sets of twelve golds. Yeah, but I don't know which one is on which side. I know that this side I click it this way. Should be short long short long long short. Long, long shot. Okay, that's the one side. Now, if it continues from the other side, and not necessarily from the beginning, again, maybe. I don't know which. Uh, which part of the Morse code is the beginning? I will try it from this angle, I think. Okay, that didn't work. Hmm. All right, so I'm gonna try and start with the one I got from the thing first. And then I'll just do like a full circle around, try and match up. I tried two combinations and both were wrong. Uh -huh. I don't think there was any mention anywhere of which goes first. But when you think about it, the...
Well, actually, that doesn't make sense. I was thinking that one building is on the left, the other building is on the right. But the post office is actually in the middle, so that doesn't make sense. Wonder if I had anything extra dealing with the room. Oh, uh, okay, I see. The the birds the birds Morse code is on the right side. And the other the one that I got is on the left side. There's a little diagram in the, the thing upstairs that shows that. Oh. And is it Wait, so it looks the... like it's clockwise. So, you'll so do the right the... side from the gate starts with short the long short. Bird Morse code, yeah. Short long short. Then long long long. Short short. Long, long, or is long. it the other way around? No. Okay, so I got the first part inputted. Now for the second part, that's short, long, short, short, short. Long, long, long. Short, long, short. Long, long, long. Short. Oh my god, it worked. Hooray! <laughs> the gate is open, okay. The gate yeah, I got is it open. open too. That was bamboozling for sure. Right. <laughs> nope. I was able to lower the ladder. Oh, some words came down. Lamp! <laughs> it's the lamp. The prophecy was... When I pulled down the ladder, the words came down. Yeah, me too. I see my last memory of Lark was the suspicious frown on her face. Mine says, all those years in Switzerland made it possible for me to finally finish the clockwork. And to go up the ladder. Oh. Another ladder. Okay. Double checked Lurk's clock. It ran exactly as it should. The second ladder says, at first she didn't want the clock, she said she was tired of my presence. Now the third ladder. I held it out to her anyways, because I needed her to be with me. Mine says it didn't occur to me that a crack in the clock face would make a difference. Okay, now on the next floor I see four glasses. Jars? Yeah. yeah, each one with numbers. Does your have also numbers? Yeah. Mine are not... Uh, you have four jars, right? Yes. Mine is... 101... One, I'm doing a left to right. 1011... 1308... 
Okay, so this is the first time that we actually both have the same numbers. Okay. Which is Are surprising. Are yours empty jars? Uh, my jars have some blue fairies inside of them, I think. Oh, mine are empty. Oh. Lowering the ladder. I had spent years collecting time for us. Time that would be added to our lives. My ladder says, I never told her that the time was stolen, only that the clock would let us be together forever. Oh my god, I see... Seven jars with fairies on the next floor. Mine are all empty again. Are these years? I'm not sure. But this time around the numbers on my side are from the left. One, two, eight, three, two, nine, four, nine, zero, four, four, zero, eight. One nine eight two seven three and one nine five. I had the same same numbers also, except mine are are still empty. Funnily, funnily enough, when I pulled down the ladder, the texture of one of the jars kind of bugged out, and I see the lid of the jar on top of the ladder. Oh yeah, I see that too. <laughs> it's an interesting oversight. And the ladder speaks. She closed her hand around the clock and I never saw her again. Mine says, instead she disappeared into the clock. I still haven't found her. Oh, so they both went into the clocks? I went to the top and there's all these empty jars and there's one without a, a number written on it in the center. I see multiple jars with fairies and one empty jar on a table with some sort of a empty paper on it. I clicked on the empty jar and it captured a brand new fairy into it. And the numbers it revealed is one two five. Mine says one three four. Yours says one two five. You beat the game. Such a shame to see all that time go to waste. It says. And then I see huge clock. You have lost one hundred twenty-five minutes of your life. <laughs> I Clark? didn't have to build a way out. I hope you and your friends appreciate it. Lark would have had it added 125 minutes to hers. You have lost 134 minutes of your life. Amelia added 134 minutes to hers. Oh, okay. Well, that was pretty neat. And now the credits are all. It's from the Danish Film Institute, apparently. I really liked that. That was a good story game with puzzles. Yeah, that went surprisingly well because the... I did check before we started streaming what is the average playtime and it was like... It seemed like around three hours that we actually managed to beat it in like two hours, which is pretty good. Seems like we are good at solving puzzles, which is nice. Yeah, I feel like some of them were, were pretty easy, but then we got stuck on the, the bell one for a little bit, and Steam helped us with that. The how many times you need to ring the bell. I think <laughs> Lamp! <laughs> I think the hardest one was the Morse code, because we weren't sure which way the Morse code will go. Oh, yeah. But otherwise, pretty easy, I think. Pretty fun. I'm not yeah, exactly I really enjoyed it. I'm not exactly <laughs> sure what the ending of the story means. 
But I it think seems this... like they keep uh, meeting up with each other through time, and then they just split up again, and they keep trying to find each other. Could be, could be. Seems like a mystery. Yeah. But yeah, the, the puzzles requiring the co cooperation and the fact that we cannot see each other's screen is quite a very unique gameplay mechanic. But yeah, I, I really don't like think that. I don't think I ever saw a puzzle game that worked like this. Yeah, it wasn't even like we invited each other to a party, it was just we picked which which side. Yeah, it's basically an off offline game, which is also quite interesting yeah. for a co-op. Oh, well, I guess Steam Monkey is right, it's kind of like keep talking and no one explodes. That one's really, <laughs> really difficult. <laughs> Yeah, that one is too difficult, I would yeah. say. Th this but the one timing is the part, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, that was fun. It was I a really lot of fun. It. Yeah, and thanks I would for recommending I would, this one. I would once again like to say thank you very much for doing this collab with me. I very much appreciate it. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Thanks for inviting me. Makes was, me want to kind of play other puzzle games. <laughs> was very, very enjoyable. Maybe we will find some similar games someday, perhaps. I don't know if these developers ever made another game. Let me actually check. That would be a good thing to check. Yeah, because I, are... I really liked the art and the story. Because this is so unique that it doesn't seem like they released anything else. This was from 2019. And... Doesn't seem like they are making anything else. At the moment. That's a bit of a bummer. They did a really good job on this one. Apparently, if you play this game in around Christmas, there is a Christmas tree in the game. Oh. <laughs> which is quite nice. But yeah, TikTok, A Tale for Two, definitely, definitely fun. Kind oh yeah, of I would recommend it. Yeah. Kind of obviously, you need someone to play this with, or you need two different devices. And if you got that set up, then it's a really nice game. Oh yeah, I could see this being like a mobile game too, if they like release it on there. I think it actually is available on the Android devices, if I'm not mistaken. It'd be a fun game just to like kill time with waiting for something. But yeah, this, this was really fun. I really enjoyed this. Me too. Let's see. I really enjoyed the art too. Yeah, the art side of the things, I must say, the art was very beautiful. I especially liked that one section with the forest and the well. That was really well, dra well drawn. 
look very very nicely. It's just this like a uh, main screen. Be cool to have like something similar for like a starting screen or a ending screen kind of thing. Yeah, like the cocks that are moving in the yeah. foreground kind of. Very, very nice. Super bunny man. Redwood forest, and gears and pipes and seams. Oh yeah, yeah, this would work out really, like a really cool theme for your steam. Something similar. The question is now that we finished the game, what will be, what will happen next? I'm not sure. I planned on streaming before this, <laughs> but I had some technical difficulties. I could probably maybe raid someone. Yeah, I was thinking about raiding someone as well. And it would be kind of fun if we both raided the same, same person. Doing oh sort yeah, did of you have a, someone in mind? Sort of a double raid. I don't... I don't see... We could maybe rate the glue streamer. <laughs> Sima? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we could rate him, that sounds good. But that could be that could be a good good rating target, I think. Yeah. <laughs> I like how I knew exactly who you were talking about when he said the glue eating streamer. <laughs> it's the one and only glue eating streamer. I think this will be nice. Okay. I am starting up the countdown. I'll get mine set up now as well. And before we before we rate over, I would just like to say thank you everyone for tuning in. Thank you everyone who were guiding us in the puzzles, especially Steam Monkey Plates. Yeah, thank you so much, Steam. <laughs> was really fun. Hopefully someday in the future we will maybe find some similar experience to experience together. We will see. But this was definitely very, very fun. And I thank you once again for doing this collab with me. It was really, really enjoyable. Yeah, I enjoyed it too. Thanks again for bringing it up. That's a great idea. Okay, so and now we raid. <laughs> let's let's press the button. It has been pressed on my side. 